Welcome to Magic Arcanum. I'm Ryan Gomez. Behind the scenes is Nicole Burdick, and we're so glad you're here because it's story time. And it's a very special story time because we have this package to open from Cardamajigs. Yep, they have sponsored this video and sent me some goodies from the Series 2 release, which you can order right now using my link down below. What is a Cardamajig, I hear you ask? Well, I could tell you, or I could just show you, which is what I intend to do. But first, I want to be clear about something, because I just told you this is a sponsored video, which means they have paid for my time, but not my opinion. So we are going to look at what's in this box together, and then decide if it is the right product for you and your playgroup. Ready? Okay, good, because this is, this is getting a little heavy. So I'm going to crack it open, and we'll get our first look at Cuba Majigs Series 2. Ooh. Okay, and that, that's a big one. So here's our first mystery bubble-wrapped item. Let's, uh, let's shed the outer skin here and see what we're dealing with. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, so the first item is a box of dragon shields with their Scorched Lotus artwork on it. This is a uh, kind of a reimagining of one of Magic's most iconic cards, the Black Lotus, of course, which you will find on a lot of other Cardamajigs products as well. So let's see what else they've got for us here. The next item is a Cuba Majigs box, also with that beautiful Lotus artwork on there. And this is the perfect size to hold. 10 Cuba Majigs. So let's take one of those out of here and we'll get a closer look at it on my little desktop camera. So this is a single Cuba Majig, and as you can probably tell, it is almost the exact size of a magic card. In fact, it behaves a lot like a booster pack. You can fit you know, more than one card in here, certainly. And it has this really cool reusable kind of clasping uh, mechanism here, which lets you open it up and put cards in and out. So you can just drop some cards right on in there and seal it all back up nice and tight. I gotta say, I really like the uh, the smoothness of these and they have just a nice fit and finish to them. They feel like a quality magic accessory. Not really afraid of like scratching my cards, putting them in and out or anything like that. All right, so we have a box of 10 of these all with that beautiful Lotus art on them. Fits in there perfectly so we can organize all of our cards. But what else was in that package? Let's take a look. Okay, now we're talking. This is a pod majig, the big brother to the little cube majigs. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop the wrapper off of this real quick. Okay, there we go. So first impressions of Podmajig. It's got these nice little uh, grippy handle bits here that's gonna make it really easy to pop the lid right off this guy and we can see what's going on inside. All right, so inside we have this beautiful lined lid with the Podmajig logo in there. That's like one of those premium touches. You just, you love to see it. And then inside we have this, well, first of all, a nice sturdy cardboard box, feels great. And then we have these plastic dividers which are sized, I am assuming, perfectly for some Cuba Majigs. So let me get those back over here and uh, we'll test my theory. Okay, so we have six individual Cuba Majigs and wouldn't you know it, they fit in here perfectly in groups of six. So you can have like a whole bunch. And it looks like you could take a Dragon Shield deck box or comparable sized deck box and fit it right in there next to three Cuba Majigs. So with nine different cells, each able to hold six Cuba Majigs and each of those able to hold a bunch of magic cards, you could fit anything you want in this pot of Majig. And, and you still got that beautiful scorched Lotus on there by Donato Giancola. So you're gonna look great while you're carrying all your stuff. All right, so Potamajigs and Cubamajigs look great, but what can you actually use them for? Well, Cubamajigs are designed to replicate the experience of opening a sealed booster pack of cards, which means they are ideal for anyone who has a cube. I mean, it's right there in the name. A cube is a collection of cards chosen for limited play. Now that's usually a draft, 
but it could also be sealed or even jumpstart. You, as a cube designer, get to pick which cards you want in your cube, and we're talking hundreds. Then you shuffle them all up and put 15 into each cube a jig. Then you give three of those packs to anyone who's drafting your cube, or six if you're doing sealed pools, or just two if you're set up for jumpstart. Players then get to open their cubamajigs exactly as they would tear the wrapper off a retail booster pack. Okay, well, don't don't tear the cubamajig. I mean, they're designed to be reused over and over. Actually, I'm not even I'm not even sure I could tear one of these. They are pretty sturdy. Anyway, that's the general idea behind cubamajigs. They hold the cards you picked out for your cube or other limited environment. But they can be so much more. I like to stuff one with tokens because it seems even the big commander sized deck boxes don't always have room for those. And I don't really want to carry around another full sized deck box if I don't have to. But cubamajigs are the perfect answer. I can even have a few different ones that match up with different commanders, and that way I've always got the right selection of tokens on hand. These little boxes can also hold dice or life pads or small gems for plus one plus one counters, if that's how you like to do it. And as I said before, you could use these for your own jumpstart collection because they each hold over 20 single sleeved cards, which means you've got room for the lands and spells. I would suggest getting enough matching cubamajigs for all of your jumpstart packs so you can't tell which one you're picking up, unless you want to be able to tell, in which case I would say get one of their mosaic kits which come with 10 different designs in it. I have decided I'm going to use my new potamajig here to start the Magic Arcanum Story Cube, which is something I've talked about before but never really made much progress on. That's because I had sketched out an idea for my cube based around story archetypes. So like the blue and black draft pair was gonna be nightmares and red and white was gonna be heroic tales, featuring a lot of the boast mechanic from Kaldheim, for example. But then they released Wilds of Eldraine and every color pair in that set alone was based around a different type of story, which is really cool but it made me rethink my own cube. So now I am pivoting to memorable moments and characters from the Magic Multiverse. I'm gonna to try to put in as many named cards as I can, things like Vraska's Contempt or Tyvar's Stand, and then I'm gonna mix in story spotlight cards, my favorite legendary creatures and lands, and other iconic parts of Magic's own history. I have no idea if that'll be like balanced or anything, but it will be a fun thing to experiment with. And I'm glad I've got these new cubamajigs and potamajig to help me keep it all organized and inspire me to, you know, keep at it. Now remember, you can grab your own potamajig and cubamajigs using my link down below. So go ahead and check that out. Then come back here and leave me a comment with your favorite art out of all the choices available. Then make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the great stories you'll only find here on Magic Arcanum. We'll see ya.